So I've done a lot of videos now where I load into unreleased LTMs and I want to do something kind of similar. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is we're going to be loading into some unreleased Fortnite maps. Now this isn't clickbait, we're actually going to load into some unreleased Fortnite maps. And this includes the tutorial game mode from mobile. Now I don't think you can play this on PC, but on mobile there's actually this tutorial game mode and it has its entire own map. So because we load up on PC, we're going to be able to go into replay mode and we're going to explore the entire map. And the map's actually quite big and in the tutorial you only see a really small part of it. So we're going to be exploring the entire map and there's some really funny things located around it. As well as that, I'm going to be showing you some footage that I got when I loaded into season 1 of another unreleased Fortnite map that's never made its way to the game and I think it's actually been removed from the game files now. So I'll show you guys the clips that I got of that and I'll explain what Epic Games intentions were for this map. Anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you definitely do subscribe because we do have lots of insane Fortnite videos coming soon. And no one else uploads videos like this on YouTube so make sure you definitely do subscribe. Also, if you do like these types of videos, make sure you do give the video a like and let's get straight into the video. So guys, here we have the first map, and if I look around, none of you are probably going to notice this. There's probably a few people that have seen this before, but this is a tutorial map. And believe it or not, there is actually a tutorial mode for mobile, I think it is. And I don't think you can play it on PC, but you can see that I am doing it anyway. And if you look around, you're going to notice that the landscape's completely different to the Chapter 2 map. And we're actually in a completely different map, so you can see if you look around, everything just looks completely different. And the actual map is still over there, so all the way over there is the actual map. I don't think we can see it from here, but it's still so cool that Epic have put so much effort into a map that's never getting released. You can see that there's buildings and stuff all the way up there. And in a second, I'm going to load up replay mode and we're going to view the map. And there's so many weird stuff about this map, it's so cool. So there's just some random buildings that make no sense. And then for example, there's a door down there that you can't get to, but if you open it, it's just a sheer drop into nothingness. So it's kind of funny and I'm going to be showing you all the cool little locations in this unreleased Fortnite map. As well as that, I have tried getting out of this map before, but Epic Games have put barriers literally everywhere. But if I'm ever able to find a glitch to get out of it, I will let you guys know, but for now, I think we're stuck. Anyway, all this tutorial does is show you the basics of the game, so it's just like picking up weapons and stuff like that and aiming, so there's not really much more to show with this game mode. Most of you guys may have seen it before anyway, and you can see that we can actually enter this building as well, so there's not really much more to show. And let's view this map right now in replay mode. So here we go guys, we're in replay mode now and that means that we can literally just move wherever we want. So you can see that we can just look around and we can get a really good view of everything. So we can actually go outside of the barriers, meaning we can literally just go over here if we wanted. So we will explore all of this place in a second. Well, let's just look around here for first. So you can see that these are the buildings and this is where you do the actual tutorial. So you can obviously go in all these buildings anyway. But you're going to see if you go over here, we're not actually supposed to be able to go over here. And you can see that everything's just been rushed. You can literally just go straight through here, which is kind of funny. And something else that I thought was funny is if you go through this door, and you also go through the next one, it's literally just a sheer drop, so yeah, that's kind of weird. And obviously, Epic Games don't expect people to explore this map, but it's still kind of cool to see how it's all made. Anyway, this is a normal location where you do the tutorial, but you're gonna see that they've actually put a lot of effort into this. So, if you go over here, there's a random gas station, so let's just head over here. So, here we go, guys. You can see that you have one of these eye spots things, and then there's also an interior, but the interior is just completely empty, and there's really weird walls and stuff. I don't think the gas stations normally have those walls, but there's still a gas station there, which Epic Games obviously put some effort into and you're gonna see later on that there's random footpaths and stuff like that i don't even know why epic games went into so much detail so over here you can see that there's little targets and stuff that must be part of the tutorial mode but if we keep on going over here you're gonna see that there's little footpaths and there's also a road now if we follow this road it goes to this little hangar and for some reason this hangar actually has like a random door here and you're gonna see if we go through it it's just a sheer drop again so <laughs> i don't know why that's there but it's still kind of cool and there's some graffiti and stuff like that so this is just another random little place which which no one's probably ever been to before. And then we have these derelict houses. So these are just completely empty inside. And some of these also don't make any sense, such as this door here. I don't know why there would be a door there in real life. And then there's a nice river and stuff. But then there's a footpath and this footpath goes over here. And this is the funny thing because you're going to see in a second, there's just random floating trees. So this footpath literally just stops here. And then if you look up, there's just a floating tree. Anyway, that is really random. And you're going to see over here, there's also another floating tree. So there's so many. And I don't know why there is. Like, how difficult is it to put a tree on the floor? Anyway, obviously this map was just rushed. But still kind of funny to see random stuff like this. Anyway, if you carry on going over here, it doesn't really lead anywhere. And you're going to see that this tutorial map spawns in this random location. So the actual main map is still here, believe it or not. And so is Spawn Island. 
island all the way over there. Anyway, this footpath over here just leads to this random river and then it just cuts off over there. And this isn't a creative island for people that think it is. And it's actually got its own custom terrain. So I know there's going to be some people that think it is, but it's actually not. And I think it's a lot bigger than a creative island anyway. Anyway, that's it for this part of the map. Well, let's go over here and explore the rest. So again, over here, there's quite a bit of detail. We do have a dirt path and stuff, and then that goes over there. I'm pretty sure that just leads nowhere. So yeah, that doesn't really go anywhere. And then there's some little houses over here. I think that's just another abandoned house. But over here, there's just like some really little cabin. So that's kind of cool. And let's just explore this and see where it heads to. So this actually looks really nice. Nothing's too built up and everything. And I really wish there was a mini battle royale map like this because it looks so cool. Anyway, let's go and look at the top of this. So I think we can go inside and everything. And yeah, there's just nothing inside. But look how cool that view is. That actually looks so cool. So I think the reason Epic Games went and put houses all around here is because if you are looking around the map, obviously from far away, everything does look normal and you're not going to see the floating trees and the random buildings and stuff. So everything does look so nice and just look how cool this is. And again, this is like an unreleased map because it was only ever featured in the tutorial mode for mobile. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it with this map. You can see that there's a big river that goes all the way through it, a bit like the old chapter one map. And obviously the most detailed part is over here where you actually do the tutorial. Anyway, let's fly really high up quickly and see what it looks like. So here we go, guys. This is as high as we can go. And look, it just looks like a mini battle royale map. So again, hopefully Epic Games one day adds some little maps like this because it would be cool to just have mini games of battle royale or even some other type of game mode. Anyway, that is it for this map. So guys, I'm going to quickly lose my friend into the Storm King LTM. Now, as you guys know, this isn't in the game anymore. And we're probably both going to get the ban hammer for this, but you know what? It's worth it. Anyway, you can see that we are inside of the Storm King thing. And this does still work. So I think sometimes you're going to get banned. So Epic Games have added protection to this now. So after about 30 seconds after the game, you just get kicked. And I think because I was the one that loaded in, I do get kicked first. So on his screen, he's probably just going to see me get kicked from the game. There's actually a llama there, which is weird. I don't know why there's a llama. And I need to try and save my mate. So, right, he's just died let me try and oh great i've just been banned so before I show you guys the final and release Fortnite map, I want to show you something really cool. So this is a save the world tutorial map apparently. That's what a lot of people said in my last video that I showed this map. And again, this footage is from when I loaded into Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 1. So you probably saw that there's like a barrier, but we can completely pass this barrier and we can literally explore the entire map, which is so cool. And you can see that there's some really weird stuff in it. So I thought it'd be kind of cool if I showed this footage as this kind of does count as an unreleased map. Anyway, you can see that all of the terrain is kind of similar to everything else in Save the World and the graphics are also the Save the World graphics. Now the save the world terrain is actually really weird and you can see that it's just floating in the sky so I kind of don't understand this map and unfortunately I don't really know much about save the world but all of the props inside of it are probably just the normal props from save the world but there's probably some stuff in there that you've probably not seen before. Now something else you guys may not know about is that the Fortnite lobbies actually kind of count as a map or an island so it's really weird and if you have developer commands you can actually move around the lobby so you can see in this footage here I'm actually able to move around and there's like a landscape and a foreground and stuff like that and there's also a sky and stuff so it's actually really weird and I think it did kind of get quite advanced at one point so you guys probably saw in season 9 there was an entire city and stuff like that and the same in season 8 I think there's like a big volcano and everything so the lobbies were actually getting kind of cool and they all did count as their own kind of island so if you did have developer commands you literally would have been able to fly around it however epic games unfortunately stopped doing those types of lobbies and now we're just stuck with this crappy one so it's just like a 2d image and i don't know why epic games stopped doing it because i always thought it was something cool to look forward to whenever a new season dropped it's cool to see all the background and stuff and it was always animated and things like that so if there's water you would always see that and everything or if it was a city you'd see all the lights so hopefully in season three epic games bring that back but they probably won't and for a video i would love to go into free cam and explore all of the old lobbies because you guys can probably remember in season 4 it was all meteor themed. Anyway hopefully that is possible one day and let's visit the final unreleased Fortnite map. So here's the other unreleased Fortnite map and you guys may have seen this in some of my videos before. I did feature it in a video a while ago and again this is from chapter 1 season 1 and I think it has been removed from the game files. So we'll never know the true reason for this map but I'm pretty sure what it was going to be was a 1v1 map. So you can see that it's laid out as a 1v1 kind of map and if you guys can remember the OG playground people used to 1v1 like this. So if this is what the map was for Epic Games kind of predicted that people were going to have 1v1s and stuff because this was before building was even like a proper thing. Obviously there was building and stuff but people People only used to build to cover themselves from shooting and stuff like that. They didn't used to crank 90s and have build battles. So maybe Epic Games kind of knew that building was going to evolve and maybe that's why they made this map. Anyway, as I said before, we'll never know the actual reason for this map unless Epic Games says, which I'm obviously not going to. And that was it for today's video. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you are new here, make sure you definitely do subscribe as 70% of you aren't subscribed. So you may as well because we do upload Fortnite videos like this almost every single day. And again, there's some insane videos that I've got planned in the future. Now you guys can't use code RT 
TL8 anymore because last night they did remove my code again. So if you do want to show your support, instead of using my support to create a code, please just like the videos because that's the only thing that's really going to support me right now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.